Okay, so now let us begin our discussion by reviewing the basic concepts that we have studied in the earlier grade, that is the sixth grade. So the very fundamental concept on which algebra relies is the concept of a variable. We discussed that what is a variable? It's simply a number that can take on different numerical values. So variable is nothing but a number with a distinct property of it taking different values. And we also learned that variable is represented by letters like x, y, z, c, v, b. That is up to your liking. That is how we represent a variable. The second concept was that of an algebraic expressions. So we already studied about numerical expressions. So for example, if you have an expression like 5 plus 4 or 3 multiplied by 2 or let us say that you have 2 minus 1, these are all the numerical or arithmetic expressions. So what we do is we take two numbers and then they are related by an operation. We use an operation of addition, multiplication, subtraction and division as well. But when we come to algebraic expressions, we need variables and any of the four operations. It could be one or multiple operations. So some of the examples of algebraic expressions would be, let us say, x plus 5. Now this simply says this number x, which is a variable, right, we are adding a fixed number which is 5 to it. Now, depending on what is the value of x, this whole sum, x plus 5, is going to be changing, right? So, this is an algebraic expression which involves addition. Now, you sh another example which we can take is 2 times n minus 3. This is another algebraic expression. We could have more. Uh, we could even take something which involves division. For example, q by 3. This is another example and we can we so so we covered all the four cases now it's very important to know that in algebraic expressions we must have at least one variable in the expression so these these three they do not qualify to be algebraic expressions because there is no variable that's the whole thing there is no variable and all of these if you see the three examples that we have taken here there are variables. For example, x is a variable, n is a variable, and q is a variable. So this was the concept of algebraic expression. Now let us continue further and understand what is an equation. We also discussed this in brief in our earlier chapter. So equation is nothing but a condition on a variable. It means the variable is supposed to satisfy a condition and when that happens, we call that we have an equation and here is an example. So we have 2x plus 2 equals 10. Now what this equation simply says is that the value of x must be such that this expression, this whole expression, which is present on this side, and as you'll know that we can call this as a left-hand side, and this can be called as the right-hand side, right? This expression must evaluate to a value of 10. So this is what we mean by condition on a variable. The important thing that you note here is that this equality sign, this is a must. Equality sign is, has to be present for an, in an equation. And it also implies, this equality sign, it also implies that both the expressions must evaluate to the same value. The value of this and this should not be different. It has to be same and that is why we call it as a condition on variable. Now if somebody were to say that we have x minus 4 is less than 0. Now this is not an equation. The reason is we don't have an equality sign here. There is a less than sign. That's the main thing. Okay. So this is an equation and to be specific it's an algebraic equation. That is what we have discussed about. Having said that, let us just understand what is a simple equation, which is this whole chapter about. So as far as the scope of this chapter is concerned, we simply mean an equation with one variable. That's all. Right now we are just considering a single variable and you can involve and you will have 
simple calculations that is the basic calculations addition subtraction multiplication and division the basic calculations you can do to solve those equations the whole idea of this chapter is to introduce to you the first step in solving equations and how do we approach these equations so having said that uh, let us have a look at some of the examples in our next video